Hey giraffes! So I'm mostly moved into my apartment, uh, but we're still doing a few organization things and everything's kind of like halfway put together. Like I'm sitting in a chair that doesn't have a cushion right now. Each room is kind of missing a few things um, that we're, we're trying to work through all of it right now. I know I've been talking about my apartment a lot recently, but it's the biggest thing that's happening in my life right now. But this week I'm going to talk about some of the struggles that we've had through this whole process of moving in. So if you're sick of hearing about my apartment, stop now. Actually don't do that because I'm awesome and you should keep watching. I've learned a lot over the last few weeks, like being an adult is hard. So here are some things to remember when moving into an apartment. Get things in writing, and if something isn't completely clear, ask them to clarify exactly what they mean. There's been so much miscommunication between us and our leasing agent and the other leasing agent we're working with and their manager and the credit bureau and just everyone. And so much of that could have been avoided if I had just said, hey, can you email that to me just for my records? That way, when something doesn't happen the way you thought it was going to, which happened a lot to us, you can look back in the email that they sent or whatever and say, but you said right here that this and this and this would happen. It just makes everything a whole lot smoother. You're never done. There's always one more thing that you have to take care of. This whole process has been a roller coaster. As soon as we thought we were in the clear, there would be something else that we'd have to jump through another hoop for. Moving is just a monster. It always is. Once again, it's okay to use your parents. I know that you want to branch out and be independent, but they can help. There were several times that we asked our parents to call because they've been through this before, they know what they're doing, they know the questions to ask, and sometimes they can push through. Mama and Papa Bear to the rescue! Also, we ended up having to add my dad onto the lease, not as a co-signer exactly, but just as a third person to increase our income. It's okay to still ask your parents for help, especially if this is your first time moving out. You have so much stuff. You have more than you think. Just prepare yourself for that. And lastly, it takes time. I know they want everything to be perfect and to just come together, but it takes work. For instance, we still don't have a couch because it didn't fit through the door. So now we have to figure something else out and all we have in our living room is a chair. My bed didn't get delivered when it was supposed to, so I was sleeping on the floor for several nights. It takes time, but be patient and it'll work out. And have fun with it. You have your own place, enjoy it. Those are my five survival guide tips for moving. I hope they help if you're going through this process as well right now. And I'll keep you posted on how things are going. For more, you can always follow me on Snapchat or any of my other social media. All the links are down below in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching! Later!